The Africa Cup of Nations is on, and so is European football. African stars like Victor Osimhen, Mohamed Kudus, and others are in every coast for the tournament, while their respective clubs are carrying on. Football managers in the past have spoken about the inconvenience of the tournament, happening during the season and losing key players for up to a month. Our next story provides some perspective on this issue. I don't need to be a fan of Afcon. Afcon is in me. If you're a fan of any of these players, like Jurgen Klopp, you're likely to be a bit upset that they'll be leaving your club for an entire month to play at the Africa Cup of Nations. It doesn't help African players. But does this inconvenience put European clubs off from signing African players? We will not sell Sadio, Mo or Nabi now because they have a tournament in, Feb in January and February. But if you have to make a decision about bring in a player, it's a massive one. I know a lot of coaches that refuse to sign African players because of January window. So, club or country? What is it like for the players? We've caught up with some familiar faces of African football. Yesterday was a boy playing in the streets of Nigeria and now, you know, representing Nigeria in, uh, in Africa. The last AFCON in Cameroon was Onyeka's first experience of leaving Brentford to play at the tournament. Last time it was um, quite uh, difficult because getting back, you know, the team is settled, the team they are playing well, so getting back into the team again, it takes uh, a long time. Mentally, it's also something that uh, a player needs to be, you know, um, you need to be strong. It's not easy leaving your team for, for weeks. Go to West Ham's Mohamed Kudus, who's on fire right now, faces the same dilemma. The Irons would want Kudus to stay, but fans of the Black Stars will be dying to see their star man. Just imagine being a fan of both. Without Kudus now, Ghana, they don't go far. It'll be a sad time for me as a West Ham fan. I don't really like the way we fuse the Afcon and then um, the Europe football. I think we should have a, I mean, a calendar that, that can help both of us. If, if they can move World Cup to December, December to, to suit the nations that are participating in the World Cup because of the heat. Why can't they do something about Nations Cup? That is why sometimes when they call the players, some of them say they will not play. It won't be good for you to come to Afcon and then you go, you are not getting your position to play. Chris Hewton thinks that club versus country is not as important as it once was. Most clubs, head coaches, managers, except now that when they take an African player, particularly an African player of a, of a particular level, uh, that there is a chance that they will lose him for you know a period during the African Cup of Nations. Interesting debate there.